Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel where I talk about everything Harry Potter and theme park related content. Today we're going to go ahead and talk about the differences between Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone and the Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone Mina Lima Edition. If you guys keep up with the channel, you guys do know that I did an unboxing of the Sorcerer's Stone, I believe. Yes. The Sorcerer's Stone, right before the Philosopher's Stone actually got to my house. And you guys probably already thought of the very first difference is that with the Sorcerer's uh, Sorcerer? I'm already gonna get confused. With the Philosopher's Stone, you do get a signed copy you do get a signed copy of both Mina and Lima in the Philosopher's Stone. And for those who do not know about these books, these are Mina Lima's illustrated version of the Sorcerer's Stone or Philosopher's Stone, depending where you live. So let's go ahead and just get right to it. There's a lot of little differences that just based off of the covers, I could already differentiate. Uh, so let's go ahead and just stick right to it. If you guys are new here, definitely hit that subscribe button down below. And let's just go ahead and get right to it. Alright, so first, you guys will probably not see too much of a difference with the covers. Except for obviously one says Philosopher's Stone and the other one says Sorcerer's Stone. So yeah, this is the only big difference in the covers as far as, you know, the covers go. They both say designed and illustrated by Mina Lima. Everything seems to be somewhat the same. Now what I did see on the sides, this is where things get a little tricky here. Over here in the spine of the books, oh, the Philosopher's Stone actually says JK Rowling and the Sorcerer's Stone just says Rowling. So that's one key feature that you guys should go ahead and check. Another key feature, actually I'll go ahead and just show you guys. One does say JK Rowling, the other one just says her last name. Um, and also, fun fact, look at the smoke coming out of, I believe it's smoke coming out of the roof. Um, they're actually facing opposite of each other. And that's just pretty cool to, to go ahead and see as, as far as like the differences between the Sorcerer's Stone and Philosopher's Stone. Aside from the name being completely different. For the Philosopher's Stone, since they did have to go ahead and shrink the, the word to make it fit into the little um, spine here, you do, still, you do see a little bit of a, let me see here, of like a, a difference in design. Hopefully you guys can see that with the Philosopher's Stone, which they do have kind of like a curve to the name on over here, right next to the Sorcerer's Stone. Okay, and the Sorcerer's Stone does have the Scholastic name printed on the cor on the spine whereas the philosopher's stone just has the actual logo of scholastic so you, let me hopefully this can show you the little anchor man actually i'll go ahead and just show both of you so that way you guys can see so i don't know if you guys can see it but on the bottom one does say scholastic the other one already just has the logo so yeah you guys can see that difference and that's as far as like any real big differences as far as like the front cover and the spine. In the back of the book, they do have for the Philosopher's Stone, Mr. H. Potter, the code board under the stairs for uh, four, number four, Pivot Drive. So they do have like the actual address to his, well, to the Dursley's house. Whereas over here in the Sorcerer's Stone, they actually do not. It's in the top. I don't know if you guys can see that. But yes, it's in the top. And yeah, the, the only big difference aside from that would be a, a little bit of the back cover over here as well. They do have the big Scholastic name on the back, like right here. Whereas this one does not have anything on the back as far as like the Scholastic. They just have like a tiny little imprint here saying that is from them. And that's really the big, big difference. If you order the Philosopher's Stone through the Mina Lima uh, online store, they will send you a signed copy. Whereas if you decide to buy the Sorcerer's Stone edition book here in America, it doesn't come with your signatures in the inside. But then again, this is 23 bucks. I believe this is 23 dollars, uh, US dollars. And the Philosopher's Stone, uh, if you convert it, it's about 60 something, 63, 65, something like that. So it just depends what you wanna do, which one, which copy you want to have. I actually pre-ordered The Philosopher's Stone back in February when they actually released um, the book. 
and yeah i've been waiting literally nine months i was actually sad that it didn't arrive on opening day or on release day whereas i bought the sorcerer stone book in target in my nearby target so that's really the big difference between each book if you guys liked it definitely go ahead and hit that like button down below if you guys actually want to go ahead and purchase a copy of the sorcerer stone i do have my amazon affiliate page down below you guys can go ahead and click that and go right directly and buy these amazing books they're amazing for Christmas presents and all of that sort of sense. The holidays are arriving. And I hope you guys liked it. If you guys did, slam that like button down below. If you guys are new here, subscribe to the channel where I post everything Harry Potter and theme park related content just like this one. And without further ado, I love you guys and I'll see you guys on the next video.